Since I've been a fan of JJK, I have loved Gojo's character. I have always liked the way that he is portrayed in the series. Everyone around him is misunderstanding him. He doesn't feel attached to anybody, and he's the strongest in the series, at least until this most recent arc in the manga. Very clearly, him being strong in the series is not his only character trait, but it is the one that people focus on the most. And because of that, I feel like Gojo is a character you're not really meant to relate to. Gojo describes himself to be perfect at basically everything. He's a great singer. Gege has described him to be basically the most beautiful character in the series. He is just overall somebody that isn't meant to be touched, or at least someone who is in their own realm. And because of that, I have always loved Gojo's character, and his death really affected me. I was so upset that day. Spoiler alerts, by the way, for anybody who is not reading the manga currently. But there was always something missing with Gojo's death for me. Besides the overwhelming loneliness that he felt there wasn't really much else I could relate to. Not to say that I'm overwhelmingly lonely, I don't feel that way, but I think in some way we've all experienced loneliness at some point in our life. But outside of that, there really isn't anything else I could relate to with Gojo. And while his death affected me really bad, that was more so because he was one of my favorite characters in media. But today, spoiler alert, Choso died. And Choso is a character that I also really liked in the series. Not because he's super Super cool, not because he's some crazy, strong, powerful character who also has some tragedy behind him. And I'm not saying that he doesn't have those traits. The reason why I think Choso's death affects me the way it does is because Choso is a brother. This video isn't meant to be a deep dive on Choso's character or anything, although we will be talking about why I think his death has affected me the way it has. And because of that, I think it would be lame not to talk about who Choso is as a character and what has shaped him to be the character he is today. When Choso was introduced, he seemed like a really bad guy, I think, personally. Although, like most characters in JJK, there's more to it than just being evil, it's like there was with Toji. You know, when you see Toji, you'd think that he's just an awful human being, and truthfully, he is. He really is. But there's a reason for that. But when he's first introduced, Choso just seems like another evil person. It's the death of his younger brothers that really started to shape the mold of who Choso's character really was. He obviously looked affected by it as soon as it happened. And while at first it looks like it's a cold response on Choso's part, very clearly he's enraged by it. And it's in the Shibuya arc where Choso's character is expanded upon. He genuinely seems like somebody who cares about his younger brother's deaths and wants to avenge them. And me personally, I genuinely love the way the anime handled the fight between Yuji and Choso, and even the end, I loved the little memory scene that they showed. Later on in the series, we find out that Choso is able to find out when his brothers are about to die because of a sense that he has. And he senses that exact same thing when he's about to kill Yuji. The instant he finds out, he is in shock. We don't necessarily know what's happening when it's shown that Choso is getting this false memory. We figured it was just some defense mechanism coming from Yuji, or at least that's what I thought, and I think there were theories on it back then, those have been disproven, because like I said, Choso was able to sense when his younger brothers are about to die, and he sensed that with Yuji. So when Choso is having a freak out, we just assume it's another one of those false memories that Yuji is able to give people to save his own life. And it's still not really described why Toto had the exact same experience as Choso did, but I mean, I'm, I'm fine with that because Toto's a really cool character. My point in saying this is, whenever Choso is reacting to the false memory Yuji was giving him, I just assumed that it was Choso freaking out about the memory itself. So, at the end of the Shibuya arc, when Choso calls Yuji his brother, I thought it was a pretty cool reveal. And it's from this point onwards, I really fell in love with how Choso's character was handled. Because the very instant the Shibuya arc ends, and Yuji is at his absolute lowest point, He's lost his friend, he's lost a beloved teacher, and he feels as though he has murdered thousands of people. Choso is the first person there for him to help him feel comforted and like not all is lost. And obviously Toto did the exact same thing, but Choso is there a lot longer 
for him. And I love the way Choso reacted to Yuji being his brother. In the story, it's revealed that Choso chose to live as a curse with his brothers. And with that being said, he blames himself for the way things ended for them, forced to kill humans because they felt like they'd be judged otherwise. He's upset at himself for the way things turned out for them. And he feels guilty for how Yuji was treated because he basically left him alone his entire life, despite being his brother. And while that's not necessarily his fault, he still blames himself for that. And at the end of the Shibuya arc, he doesn't even really blame Yuji for the deaths of his brothers. He takes responsibility for something that he necessarily didn't do. And that just radiates big brother energy to me. And that's, I think, when I truly started feeling a little bit more connected to Choso's character. Now, I want to stop this little deep dive to say I'm sorry if I mess up on anything. I do want to go back and read all of JJK again. But this is just me reacting to how Choso's character was throughout the manga and also my feelings towards his death. Because, I mean, they are strong. I love Choso's character. I think he's beautiful. And obviously, this is my very first video doing this so I don't know if I'm doing a good job necessarily so with that said let's get back into the video as I was saying I think it was such a beautiful moment whenever Choso just blamed himself for the way his brother's lives ended and he also feels super guilty about Yuji and I deeply love the conversation he has with Yuki obviously you guys would not know this because this is the first video I've ever done but I am deeply in love with characters who are able to self-reflect and grow on mistakes that they've made and we see that with Choso through that conversation he regrets truly leaving his brother alone and he blames himself for it and he also thinks that he chose the wrong life to live he would have rather lived as a human and gave his brothers the best life he possibly could have despite the fear of being judged by humanity and after that conversation Choso's character just grows on me completely. He is deeply caring for Yuji. And as we see Yuji leave for the Culling Games and Choso tells him not to die with a big smile on his face, Yuji's response is almost fairly cold because like I said before he doesn't really know him all too well but Choso acts like he has known Yuji his entire life and that's the beautiful thing with Choso and obviously you know the timeline is a little mixed up I'm not here to talk about it like perfectly I'm just going through some of the things that pop in my head anyway I think that Choso was beautifully written and the way he ends is a masterpiece in character writing for Choso. Sugina throws a flame arrow Yuji's direction and obviously with the domain active it's awful. Things are looking grim and Choso jumps in front of it without hesitation. And keep in mind Choso and Yuji have really only had a couple months to know each other and Choso sacrificing himself just instantly for the sake of his brother's life is so in character for him and the last few words that Choso says to Yuji are actually so heartbreaking. There is no jealousy or pain or anger in Choso's voice. It is literally just the loving last words a brother could give. He says that younger brothers are meant to surpass their older brothers and he's sorry for being so useless in teaching Yuji because everything that he knows is from instinct. He feels even then as though he has failed as an older brother but also there is a sense of pride in his younger brother's growth and happiness for him and that is just so beautiful to me. I'm super happy with the way Choso went off and unlike almost every other death I think that Choso's is by far one of the most well written throughout the story and genuinely I mean I'm sad about it but I'm almost too happy with the way his character was done uh, so that's it for today's video I'm sorry if this was a bit weird but uh, I promise better and more well written scripts will be out in the future like I said this isn't scripted this is just off the top of my dome so thank you guys so much for staying till the very end I hope you enjoyed and let me know down below what you thought of Choso's death and also what you thought of the video. Like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one.